Paul Roll. Stein. Here. Council Member Kim Wynn. Here. Mayor Jones. Here. And Mayor Pro Tem Bui is absent. Okay, which takes us to oral communications. I have um, a handful of cards, but these are all to speak on the public hearing item, um, except for one. Where is Maureen? Oh, did you want to speak on oral or under the item 3A? Come on up. <laughs> All right, good evening, Mayor, Council, member staff, and residents of Garden Grove. As the president of the Garden Grove Neighborhood Association and 38-year resident of Garden Grove, I want to express my support and downright excitement for this project, Site C. It's been a long time coming. It was approved five years ago. I understand tonight's vote is minor tweaking, yet important tweakings to the approved project. I think the residents and visitors will be in for a huge treat when this project is up and running. I look forward to the potential revenue and the notoriety this project's gonna bring to Garden Grove. I said it once before, go big or go home, bring it. Thank you, that was the only um, cards I had for oral. I do have, like I said, a handful of pink cards for the actual item. Any other, anyone else want to speak on an item not listed on the agenda? Okay, seeing none, we will close the oral communication and move on to consent items. We just have 2A, um, which is a waiver of the full reading. Do I have a motion? A uh, motion. Sorry. Motion, remove that. Second. Call the vote. We're going to have to do a roll call vote because we don't have the electronic deal hooked up. Council Member Beard. Yes. Council Member O'Neill. Yes. Council Member Tuha Wynn. Yes. Council Member Klopfenstein. Yes. Council Member Kim <coughs> Wynn. Yes. Mayor Jones? Yes. And Mayor Pro Tem Bui is absent. Motion received. Six yes votes. Okay, which takes us to public hearings, the one and only item 3A. Item 3A is to introduce and conduct the first reading of an ordinance approving development agreement number DA008-2017 to facilitate the Site C Hotel Resort Project. And that ordinance is entitled, An Ordinance of the City Council of the City of Garden Grove Approving a Development Agreement between Investel Garden Resorts, LLC and the City of Garden Grove for property located on the northeast corner of Harbor Boulevard and Twin Tree Lane west of Choicer Road at 12222-12252-12262-12272-12292 and 12302 Harbor Boulevard, 12511, 12531, 12551 and 12571 Twin Tree Lane and 12233, 12235 one two two three seven and one two two three nine Choicer Road, assessor parcel numbers two three one four nine one twenty two three one five two one oh one oh two oh three oh four oh five oh six oh seven oh eight oh nine and ten and two three one four nine one twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and nineteen and Ms. Para is here to give the staff report. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council. Before you tonight is a recommendation from the Planning Commission to approve development agreement number DA-008-2017, which will give Investo Garden Results LLC, the developer of the Site C Hotel Resort, five years to construct and complete the proposed hotel project that consists of 769 hotel rooms within three hotels, an aggregate total of up to 104,000 square feet of conference, meeting, banquet space, hotel restaurant space, restaurant retail entertainment space, and a multi level parking structure with 1,297 parking spaces. On November 2nd, 2017, the Planning Commission adopted a subsequent mitigated negative declaration and approved site plan number SP-043-2017 and tentative track map number 17455 and recommended that the City Council approve development agreement number DA-008-2017. 
The site plan approved by the Planning Commission allowed for minor modifications to the original approved 2012 project, and the tenant to track map allowed for the reconfiguration and consolidation of existing parcels to accommodate the proposed development. The site plan and the tentative track map approvals became effective on November 27, 2017, as no appeals were filed. These entitlements are not before the planning uh, before the city council tonight for consideration. Only the development agreement is. The development agreement will give the developer a vest vested right to construct and complete the hotel project within five years, with up to five additional one-year time extensions. The development agreement payment will be used to partially reimburse the city for the cost of services, equipment, and public infrastructure required by the project that, are, that not otherwise would be reimbursed to the city. The development agreement payment is based on the difference between the final total amount of the non-discretionary fees that the developer is, is required to pay to the city and the, and the negotiated development agreement amount. Based on staff estimate, the development agreement payment will be $852,571. As previously mentioned, members of the City Council, you are only considering the development agreement tonight. Therefore, you are asked to introduce the attached ordinance for first reading and approve, approving development agreement number DA008-2017. This concludes my presentation and I'm available to answer any questions. Thank you, Maria. Any um, questions of staff? Okay, I have, seen, oh, I have comments, but can I wait till we open it up and hear from the public, and then maybe we can come back with our comments? Or oh, absolutely, yeah. Just, do that? Okay. Yeah, if there's no mm -hmm. questions of from staff that, at this no. time, then we'll mm -hmm. open the public hearing. Perfect. Okay, so we'll open the public hearing, and I have a handful of cards, actually four. <coughs> um, Danielle Wilson. Good evening, Mayor Jones and City Council members. My name is Danielle Wilson, and I'm here on behalf of Unite Here Local 11, a labor union that represents over 25,000 hospitality workers across Southern California and 136 residents here in Garden Grove. I'm here before you tonight to urge you to deny the development agreement before you, or at least delay approval before further review. We have many concerns about this project that I've submitted to you in writing prior to this hearing um, and also brought before the Planning Commission. Our biggest concern is that the developer is receiving significant subsidies and land use guarantees without commensurate benefits to the city and residents. The hotel market and conditions of the city have changed significantly since this project was first approved in 2012 to 2013, and we do not believe that the development agreement before you reflects these changes. While we agree that development is necessary in Garden Grove, it should only go forward in a socially responsible manner that puts the city and the community at the least amount of risk. The development agreement before you is an extremely valuable document to this developer. It will provide uh, the developer with a guarantee that future changes to the city's land use policy or zoning laws will not affect their project. This means that if this council or a, fut a future council should decide that they would prefer more retail, for example, more public oriented uses, or even a larger hotel on any of the subject parcels, they will be unable to make these changes. In exchange, the developer pays some fees to the city, but we do not believe that these fees are sufficient. In addition to these guarantees, this developer, as you know, will benefit from a massive TOT rebate, which will amount to approximately $17.6 million, something that cannot be changed even though it was decided on by a different council more than four years ago. This council could ask for much more from the developer, such as quality jobs that this project will produce, and whether or not these jobs will go to residents of Garden Grove. Secondly, the city is poised to convey the land to the developer at essentially no cost. The land valuation study was conducted in 2013 for a very different project than what is before you today. The modified project includes two luxury full-service hotels um, and one limited-service hotel. The addition of a second full-service hotel will justify our higher room rates and ultimately higher revenues for the com combined hotels. Council should consider requiring the developer to compensate the city for this land or at least study this issue further before granting the approval of the development agreement. And lastly, we believe that the financing for this project, project is uncertain once again as the developer faces difficulties in Long Beach and as the Chinese State Council takes steps to limit overseas investments. We know that Shanghai Construction Group, or Investel, 
um, was chosen as a developer for this project because the city felt confident that they could execute it. But we urge council to consider the context before approving the, this development agreement. The, uh, recently, the city of Long Beach asked SCG to reveal its true ownership structure before approving their purchase of the two Long Beach Hyatts. Lawmakers are proposing legislation that would require a higher degree of federal review of foreign investments such as this. There are far too many questions surrounding this developer and the project in general to go forward tonight. Um, I appreciate your time and I hope that you'll consider these matters before making your decision. Thank you. Thank you. Anne-Marie Ruiz. Hi, <clears throat> excuse me. Hi, good evening, Council and uh, Mayor Steve Jones. It's nice to see you after my uh, wedding a year ago. <laughs> that was very nice of you to come. Um, my name is Anne Marie Ruiz Khan, um, and I am here to voice my opinion as a resident of District 2, uh, which would be your district, uh, Council O'Neill. Um, pretty much, I would like to <clears throat> voice my concerns with the taxpayer money that's been used to subsidize yet another hotel project, which will add to the new hotel rooms in Garden Grove a total amount of 2,600 hotel rooms. Um, with over 11,300 people living at poverty level in the city of Garden Grove, uh, and our median yearly income earning being less than that of $31,000, and our overall cost of living ranking at a uh, grade of F, I find it necessary to increase the amount of affordable living housing developments versus increasing the amount of hotels, spas, and resorts. Um, as representatives of the people of Garden Grove, I urge you to reevaluate the details of the agreement development uh, that will include uh, specific details and I also hold, hold you accountable for all of the details in a way that it will better reflect the residents of Garden Grove. Uh, thank you for your time and have a good night. Thank you, Emory. Walter Muniton. Good evening, Mayor, City Council, staff, and members of the community. My name is Walter Muñaton, and I proudly serve the Garden Grove Unified School District on their Board of Education, representing what is known as a city as Council Districts 5 and 6. Um, I'm also here to talk in regard to the hotel project. Uh, basically, some of the concerns that I uh, bring um, that arise is with large subsidies and different hotel developments that have occurred in the past, the community, most specifically those directly affected by the development, want to ensure that the community truly will benefit from such projects. This can be done with numerous different ways, such as a community projects agreement or a project labor agreement, where the construction is being done by uh, uh, workers that are being paid in an equitable and, and a living wage. And also keeping into consideration once the projects are done that the hospitality workers and all those workers that are working in those environments are also receiving good paying jobs. If we're going to be advertising as a city as this is going to bring thousands of good paying jobs to the city, we really do need to ensure that we reflect on those values and they're getting paid a, a decent wage. Um, I know a large uh, portion of the residents that unfortunately aren't able to make it here today due to having to work multiple jobs and different hours. And, you know, they're skeptical about these projects due to the city's past. Um, and, and, and I think the way to combat that is basically by providing community benefits agreements, project labor agreements, and supporting all the workers up until even the development and the hospitality workers. So I just urge you to reevaluate, um, you know, the, the project and, and ensure that there is true, truly benefits for all members of the community. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. David Kirsch. Um, good evening, uh, Mayor and Council Members and staff. Uh, my name is uh, David Kirsch. Um, I'm the Executive Director of the Carpenters Contractors Cooperation Committee, which is the labor management group that uh, is comprised of the Carpenters Union and the union contractors. And uh, I'm here to, uh, to show um, our support for this project. Um, 
our um, our contractors are, are looking forward to being able to work on this project. Uh, this is a project that's going to bring a lot of value to the community, not just as an asset, not just as a, as a beautiful building, but also in regards to to the creation of jobs. And we have a lot of our members who live in, in Garden Grove. Um, we have a training center not far away from here. We're, we're sort of part of the of the social and, and community fabric here. And these are good paying construction jobs. This is how we keep the middle class strong. And so uh, I know this project's sort of been a long time coming. Um, and you know the developer has, has reached out to, to our contractors. And uh, we believe that this is a, a good project that's going to bring a lot of value. We have uh, some folks in the, in the audience that are from here that their families are going to be able to work on these projects. You're not going to have to drive far away. And so uh, we urge you to, uh, to kind of move forward and, uh, and let's get the, the project built. Thank you. Thank you, David. That is all the cards we have. So we will close oral communications and go to deliberations. Um, Stephanie, would you like to start out? Do you have anything? You yeah, I just have some, some comments. Um, I'd like to go back to November 2nd, which was the planning commission meeting that took place. Are you sure. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Anybody else that, uh, yeah, please bring it forward to the city clerk so that she can take it. Thank you. Anyone else? Um, good evening. I'm not a public speaker, but um, we'll do it today. I feel very strong about um, asking you for a yes today. Um, uh, my name is Eric Kino. I work for Hyatt uh, Hotels and Resort. I've been with Hyatt for about since 1994. I grew up in Los Angeles. Um, uh, grew up with a very humble background. Um, I slept in, the, in cars sometimes. I slept in garage people's. Um, my point is, I've um, been with Hyatt since 1994. And because owners like Investo and Hyatt, today I can say that I'm paying private school to my kids. Um, Hyatt is an investor is a great company to work for. We do care for people. We do care for them so they can be their best in every day. Um, we basically come to work every day and share and respect each other and provide a great service. And with this project, what it means to the city is more jobs and people like me will be able to feed our kids and have a nice life, if you will. Um, I do ask you, every, you know, one of you, uh, each of you guys, to say yes, because I know that there's more people like me growing up in the city of Garden Grove that will get a chance to maybe come out of the poverty line by having a job. So today I ask you for a yes. So thank you. Thank you, sir. What was your name? Ed Aquino. Okay, and I did you it. take his card? I just want to make sure I didn't mess up the card thank thing you. here. Thank you, sir. Johnny Duarte. Uh, good evening, uh, council members. Um, my name is Johnny Duarte, and uh, I'm here as a sample of uh, employee. I worked for this company for 12 years, and all I can say about this company, they really care about employees. They treat us well. They, these are quality jobs. That's why I have been working for 12 years, and uh, to me, it's a very good opportunity for the city of Garden Grove to expand, expand this kind of um, work opportunities for, for the community. And I assure that everyone that works for this company will be as happy as I am, and I'm here to support this project. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dat Trong. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Dan. I work for the Hyatt uh, for about 15 years. Um, I see most of the people over here that uh, have opportunity to live here and work here. So uh, why can't we give that opportunity to other people? Uh, this project, uh, I believe, is going to move on. And um, not, all, not only for this generation, but it will help the next generation. It will, it will be there for years. So. I hope it will get passed. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 
Last one, uh, Rodolfo Vega. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm working in Hyatt for uh, almost 20 years. It's a very, very uh, special hotel, quality. Um, and I see the another project for the uh, by the corner to the Hyatt is uh, very good. Uh, my family is uh, my daughter. She living right now in uh, New Haven, Connecticut, and she called me uh, return to California. And she go to the university. Um, he graduated uh, by the criminology. So when she come to South to California, it's more opportunities, more jobs. So I'm very happy for uh, this project, and I support uh, this project. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, we will now close the public hearing. We have another one. Is there, okay, is there any, any, anybody else who hasn't yet submitted a card to the city clerk? You're supposed to submit a card to the city clerk if you want to speak. You're welcome to come up and speak if you want. Are there, is there anybody else? Okay, this is our last speaker. I'm not prepared for this meeting because we have been out of, out of town. Um, but I noticed tonight uh, most of the employees, or the employees, the, the, the comment on the benefit of the projects are em Hyatt employees. But the project, as the first person who spoke, say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to <laughs> address you, <laughs> Major and Council members are employees and uh, residents of Garden Grove. The thing is that nothing in concrete says that it's going to give jobs for the Garden Grove residents. Uh, it's nothing that says that it's going to give money to the city and not to the developers. And as the first person who spoke say, think about it. It has been, it was approved in 2005, but things have changed. And we need to give, we need to have guarantee to the Garden Grove city and to the, its residents not just to the developers. And I noticed that when they spoke in favor of the project, people clap. Uh, so I'm glad that they brought people to support them, but it's important to support the city of Garden Grove and our residents, and, the, and its residents. Uh, we've been living in Garden Grove since 1985, and we have seen a lot of changes, and we'll be affected by this project because we live on Choicer Street, and it's a big project. It has a very high building for parking spaces, and we need the parking spaces because across the sea, across the street on Harbor, they don't have enough parking spaces for the for those restaurants, for the outback and those restaurants. But we need to be sure that this project is approved, reading it, and deciding what is the best for the city and its residents, not just for the developers. Thank you. Thank you. Just for your name. Yeah. Okay, uh, we will now close the public hearing officially. Um, council members. May I continue? Please. <laughs> I'm going to have to get my train of thought back. Um, first of all, as I said, I wanted to um, go back to November 2nd when this came to Planning Commission. Um, it was a good opportunity to kind of dive into the project. Very detailed staff report. A lot of information was given to planning. Given to planning, uh, it was good to hear the dialogue among the commissioners. They had some decent questions: um, traffic issues, walkability, fire truck access, which were all answered, uh, and came to the conclusion that this was a great project for Garden Grove, and uh, approved uh, approved it at that time. Um, 
I'd like to talk a little bit about what this project means to the value in the community as well. Um, and I think there is one. I think um, I can take it down to District 5 and say that it's a growing and changing district, as is our entire city. Uh, I think this project is mindful of that. I think this project is mindful of um, our city's history. I think we see that in the retail components, the entertainment components, the restaurant components, and we'll know a lot more about that as time goes on. But I think we will see uh, the benefit to the community at large and what it can bring to Garden Grove. Uh, so for those reasons, um, I'm very excited uh, and uh, looking forward to what's to come. Any other comments? Yeah, so um, this job, this um, project has been in the works for a decade, really, or more. Um, it's going to be a great project. There's going to be union jobs on this, and there's going to be non-union jobs on this. So, And most of these jobs are going to come out of the local, local hire around here, Garden Grove, all the surrounding cities in Orange County. We have a lot of union worker, construction workers. We have service workers. It may be true that there's no guarantees, but I've been assured that, you know, there's room for everybody on this project. And I believe that uh, with our professional staff, the work that's been done on this agreement is not just something we just flew out there overnight. This has been uh, studied over with professionals for a long time, and we believe that this is a, I believe that this is a, a good project, a good, good starting point here to have this uh, agreement to move forward for the next five years, development agreement. So I'm in favor of it. Anybody else? Uh, it's up. I mean, it's it's up to our discretion. Whatever we want to do. I'll just make my comments very brief. So this project again was approved back in 2012, and it the project itself is not in question. It's about making an adjustment to move forward. It is up to this council and to this city staff to use the money that we receive and the money that we have in our general funds to do. Um, things that will benefit our community. I can say that since I've lived in Garden Grove, I have seen my district transform. I represent District 6, which contains the bottom end of the Harbor Corridor. I now live at the top half, which is very close to my colleague's district, which includes the top half of the Harbor Corridor. There's been improvements, and in, in the city isn't perfect, and there's a lot of room to improve and grow. Um, but I, th I think that's why you elected us to make sure that as we move forward we are keeping all of our communities needs desires dreams of how this city will change in mind as we move forward again this decision this project was approved before i was on council and after meeting with my staff discussing with colleagues and you know, the developers themselves i'm very excited about this project they're talking to me about culture how it's going to improve the landscape of the harbor corridor and that benefits all of us right these hotel developments are add are, are adding revenues to the city in one way or another um, and again keeping in mind as we move forward where we can improve we've been told some of these will be union jobs some won't these are things to keep in mind when the next project comes whether we want to venture in, figure out how we can better improve this process, better improve how we communicate with our communities. I have not received any calls from any residents in my district regarding this project. We've known about this meeting for a while. I am disappointed if people are upset and they haven't reached out to me because how can I do my job if you haven't reached out to communicate with me? I've done my part and I've met with the uh, union who's actually here present I suggested ways in which they could um, engage our city and our council members, and I don't think that that occurred. So what I don't appreciate is when residents, um, individuals, are given parts of information and not the whole story, and then they themselves don't engage in the process and try to learn what's actually going on. It's a disservice to you, a disservice to myself, my colleagues, and to our staff. And I think that as we move forward and more projects come along, residents need to engage. And I will hold staff accountable and ask them to engage our community as well. But I think that our staff has done a great job on this project. 
I think I'm excited to see what's going to happen and how that's going to benefit the south part of the uh, harbor corridor. Um, and lastly, I will also say that, you know, to use tactics to appeal for whatever reason that is completely deplorable and disgraceful to a community here in Orange County that is more, uh, in Garden Grove, that is over one third. And I'm talking specifically about the Vietnamese community and the issues that were brought up about communist um, businesses in China. This is not something to joke about or to use as a tactic to, to win whatever objective you have. I won't speak for my colleagues on this council, but I will speak on behalf of what I grew up knowing. My dad escaped a communist country to come here and live his version of the American dream. He got lost at sea and didn't have water or food for days. And upon being saved, he was put in a refugee camp for over a year before he could come here and start from the bottom. He was a kite maker. And from there, he worked very hard and climbed his way with very little assistance. So for me, when you're engaging residents, please use the truth and engage us. I will come out and speak to residents if they have questions, and I will ask staff if I don't have the answer to those questions. But don't put us in a position where you're using something uh, to try and get an outcome that you want that could definitely um, harbor some negative impact on residents of this city because of the things that they have experienced. It's not joke, it's not funny, and I don't like that it was used, and so I just wanted to make sure that I addressed that during this public hearing, and that's all the comments I have. Thank you. Any other comments? Um, seeing none, I'll make a few, and then I'd uh, like to make a motion. So um, I have a unique vantage point that I've been involved with the city for very many years. I was appointed originally to the Planning Commission back in 1999, and I've gotten to see a number of hotels get built along this corridor. Um, our predecessors on this council and, and on senior uh, management and staff had the vision and foresight to tap into the externalities created by being adjacent to Anaheim and Disneyland and the now, I um, think, you know, 25 million tourists that come through here every year um, by starting to construct hotels along this corridor. Um, now, 20 years into this, looking back in the rearview mirror, taking an analysis of all the deals we've done, all the subsidy agreements, all the um, hotels that have been built. Garden Grove, in round numbers, has a $100 million a year top line general fund budget. And as of this last year, hotel tax was 25 million of that. So 25% of our top line revenue comes from hotel tax. It has been an enormous windfall for the city. It's a gift that keeps on giving. It keeps the streets paved here and on Valley View and the other side of town and whatnot from the revenues that come from these. We've created um, thousands of jobs, um, high paying construction jobs, a lot of labor union jobs on all these hotels that have been built um, and a lot of long term permanent jobs. So it's been a hugely successful economic um, engine for the city, continues to be. Uh, I'm very excited to see these several new hotels uh, come forward after uh, over 10 years in the works and having survived an, a major economic downturn and survived the abolishment of redevelopment. And it's just a thrill to see this still come forward instead of getting 100% of nothing, which is what we um, were close to thinking we were going to get just several years ago in the doldrums of the downturn. So um, very bright day for Garden Grove, very bright future for this corridor and for this site. I wish this developer the very best. Um, and I'm excited to see the development agreement move forward. And to be clear, a development agreement simply defines the um, construction timeline and the economic impact uh, from the city standpoint, the fees that we will generate um, as a result of the project. The project itself, as has been stated several times, has been approved for many years. Um, so this just sort of puts a bow on it in terms of defining the timeline and and the amount of fees the city is going to get. So um, looking forward to seeing this go forward. And I would like to move um, approval of the first reading of the ordinance. I'll second it. Call the vote. Council Member Beard? Yes. Council Member O'Neill? Yes. Council Member Tuha Wynn? Yes. Council Member Clovenstein? Yes. Council Member Kim Wynn? Yes. Mayor Jones? Yes. Motion received, six yes votes, with Mayor Pro Tem Bowie absent. 
Um, thank you. We have no other items listed. We don't even have an item for matters, so we actually just go because so it's, it's a special meeting, I guess. So we are adjourned. Happy holidays, everyone.